Hello everybody, Facebook, YouTube. Today we are doing a smoke test to test for vacuum leaks on this pretty cool 66 Cadillac convertible. Elvis special right here, white on white with white leather interior. Check that thing out. So it's got a LQ4 swap. It's a six liter out of a Chevy truck. It's been rebuilt and modified a little bit. And uh, it had some vacuum leaks. So we smoke tested it earlier and found a bunch of leaks. And now I'm gonna smoke it again and make sure that we have all of them fixed. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. Many of you mechanic types have already seen this test, but for those of you that haven't, this is pretty cool. This is the uh, Smoke Pro smoke machine, and it basically puts out a bunch of smoke. Puts it out through this little tube right here, and I have this tube plumbed into this pretty cool new tool of mine. This is the Red Line Easy Intake. You see as I started the smoke machine up. Smoke's starting to come out of this thing already. So this is an inflatable bladder system and what it allows me to do is take off the air filter, stuff the bladder into the inlet tube, pump it up like a blood pressure cuff, until it seals halfway decent. Make sure no smoke's coming out. And now she smokes into the intake manifold. It'll take a few minutes for the intake manifold to fill up because it's a pretty low output machine. It only puts out like uh, maybe one PSI of pressure or something. It's not very high pressure. So it takes a minute to fill the intake up. And once the intake's full, any vacuum leaks that we have will show up plain as day. They show up better on a cold engine because uh, things kind of expand with heat. But even on a hot engine, they'll show vacuum leaks just fine. If you're testing intake gaskets, you're better off doing that on a cold motor. We're getting pretty close. Should be, the intake should be just about full up with smoke by now. And already I can see one of our leaks which is actually a leak I left on purpose to show off this tool. So next thing we're gonna do, once we see the leak, which is this canister right back here, it's like a vacuum reservoir. Uh, you can actually see this without any light. It's a really obvious leak, but if we take this little flashlight and we shine up into there, it makes it even more obvious of a leak. And you can see, I left this vacuum line off and that's what's smoking. So you kind of want to catch the light, not really on the part, but around it so the smoke really shows up better. So there's with the light, there's without the light, and there's the smoke coming out of this vacuum line. So let's take the vacuum line back on. Like I said, I just did that to show it off. And now we can check and see if there's any other leaks. Stuff like this is a prime suspect, a little one-way vacuum check valve from 1966 with dry rotted plastic. That thing actually leaked a little bit the other day. I'm surprised it's not leaking now. Maybe I need to look closer. Oh yeah, sure enough. With the light on it. Let's see if I can plume that just right. There it is. Smoke is coming out of that crack. Right there. Come on, camera. sure how well cameras pick up smoke it's a little bit tough but if you get the light just right you can see smoke's kind of billowing out of that thing 